What up, Yankee fans? It is your boy, Bad Dog, here with another New York Yankee video. As always, thank you for clicking on the video. really do appreciate it. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up because that helps out huge. Share the video out. That also helps out huge. Hit the subscribe, ring the bell. I don't know how many more Yankee videos I can do because it seems like every freaking one of them is the same, but I do appreciate you clicking on the video. So the New York Yankees tonight do something that they haven't done in 41 years. And that is lose nine in a row. That that includes the Stump Merrill days, the Dallas Green days, the, the really bad teams from 1989 to 1992. They didn't even do this. Um, Clyde King was the manager back in 1982. Um, they brought up Everson Prayer tonight. And, you know, uh, you would think they're going to try to play these youngsters, and they might as well. Uh, I don't know how much faith I have in them. Uh, obviously, everybody saw the Ben Ruta interview or whatever, uh, the former Yankee prospect that played in the minor leagues for a few years for the Yankees, and pretty much said uh, the Yankees don't teach baseball. They they teach everybody to do the same thing, which is all about hitting the ball as hard as you possibly can. I, I mean, it's pretty obvious that he's telling the truth. And I, I think that anybody that's watched my videos and any Yankee fan, most Yankee fans know this, we know that the – analytical department, the front office scouting team, and, and what they're teaching uh, the prospects is absolute trash. Uh, there's a reason that the Yankees haven't developed a prospect outside of Aaron Judge that's any good in the last 10 years. So we've heard about Jason Dominguez, you hear about Everson Pereira, you hear about, uh, you know, or I'm sorry, Pereira, you hear about Cabrera, you hear about uh, Perez, you, you, you hear about all these guys, you hear about Anthony Volpe, and, and again, I'm not trying to kill these guys. I mean, they haven't really had a chance, but the list goes on and on. This goes back to Ricky Lede in 1998, Ruben Rivera in 94. This is nothing new. The Yankees overhyped the prospects. We know the list. Mason Williams, whatever happened to Esteban Floreal. You know, remember Andrew Brockman, the guy they drafted in the first round that time with John Serge. I don't know if that guy ever even pitched in the major leagues. The Yankees can't develop pitching to save their life. The last time they actually developed a pitcher in the minor leagues that was any good, that was a starter, was Andy Pettit. Before that, it was Ron Guidry. I can't think of a, a Yankee prospect in my lifetime that they had as a starter that became a really good starter. Now, Mariano Rivera was a failed starter, became the GOAT. We all know that. There's something really wrong with what the Yankees are doing <laughs> in the minor leagues. There's something really wrong with what they're doing in the front office and ownership. And I know there's talk about firing Aaron Boone, and granted, that'll give the Yankees fans their pound of flesh. But this goes way, way, way deeper than Aaron Boone. I've said this a number of times. He's not a good manager. I'm not trying to stick up for Aaron Boone. But my God, Aaron Boone can't hit the ball. Aaron Boone's not putting it, you know, it's not Aaron Boone's fault that there's a lineup full of guys that have an under 700 OPS. That is pathetic. Pathetic! These are the New York Yankees. And the only guy with an OPS of over 800 on this entire team is Aaron Judge. A 200 and whatever the hell it is. It's almost $300 million for a payroll. And night in and night out, this is the trash that they put out in the field. A bunch of old bats. This The, the sport gets younger and younger and younger and more athletic, and the Yankees just keep beating that drum from 20 years ago. That's not the way baseball is played. Get with the times. You look at all the – you look at the Rangers. You look at the Orioles. You look at, you know, the Reds are, are exciting. You you the Rays for years. They, they all have young talent. It is unbelievable that I can sit here night in and night out and watch this team and, and have no hope. Down two to one. Years ago, if the Yankees were down two nothing, three nothing, you always felt like they were going to come back. This team goes down one nothing in the first inning, like game over. This team can't hit. The only team, is, the only team in the entire major leagues with less hits are the Oakland A's. What are they? 50 games under 500. I know they're not that bad, but, but, you get my point. They're, they're terrible. There's no money there. The stadium's falling apart. The A's are the A's. This is the Yankees. 
My God, throwing throwing bad money after bad money. That, that's all they do. Constantly. Oh, Rachel Aaron Judge gets back. Well, they're they're six and seventeen. <laughs> I can't make this up. They're six and seventeen since the man came off the IR. Will you just bench Aaron Judge for the rest of the year, please? You just gave the man nine years, $360 million. You really don't need this injury lingering on for the rest of his freaking career. You don't need this to become a chronic thing because that would be really bad because everything else they've done has been piss poor outside of Garrett Cole and outside of Aaron Judge. Just when you think this team can't get worse, can't get more pitiful and pathetic and disgraceful, it does. And every night you hear Aaron Boone, oh, we're turning the corner. And I say this all the time. Yeah, you keep turning corners, you're running around in circles. I know Aaron Boone ain't just going to come out and go, the season's done. Well, you should because anybody with two eyes can see that the season's been done for a long time. Knew this club was not a World Series contender. Two years ago, maybe three years ago, I made a video saying, Yankees will not compete for World Series as long as Brian Cashman's in charge. And I stand by that. It's pretty obvious that they don't. Their solution was bringing Carlos Rodon and run it back. And that, that was really what they did here. Again, they got off to a great start last year. They played over their head. They got some breaks. They were a 500 team in the last 70 games a year. And this was with Aaron Judge having one of the greatest seasons in the history of the sport. And then. They barely sneak by Cleveland, and then they're completely outclassed by the Astros once again. And instead of trying to get on the level with the Astros, they just somehow magically think that the same team that they've run back for years is going to figure out a way to beat the Astros. Well, now they can't figure out a way to beat the Astros. They can't figure out a way to beat the Rockies. They can't figure out a way to beat the Cubs. The Red Sox, well, the Red Sox are actually playing pretty well now. They can't beat anybody. And then when they when they match up against it, they can't beat the Nationals tonight. And then when they match up a team against the Braves, you can just see they're outclassed. I don't remember the last time the Yankees were outclassed by teams. They were outclassed by the Red Sox. The Red Sox are trading away players. And now the eight game's over 500, depending on what they did tonight. I don't know if they played tonight or not. I didn't see what the Red Sox are doing. This is just, it has reached such a, a disastrous low. But it doesn't matter. You know why? Because they keep selling tickets because Hal keeps making money. And as long as Hal makes money, it doesn't matter what the hell he puts out in the field. Because it's all corporate boxes. They priced out the regular fan. They did it years ago. And people don't go there anymore to watch the Yankees. This is more of a tourist attraction now. This isn't about baseball anymore. This is about all the all the amenities and just the experience. It hurts me as not only a Yankee fan, but a baseball fan to see what this organization has become. It gets really sad when I have Red Sox fans and Astro fans, and I hate the Yankees, but man, I really kind of miss them being good. I really don't like seeing the Yankees like this because when you have a villain, you want the villain to be strong. You want to battle. Well, this villain has just quit. This villain has died. The Yankees are not feared by anybody anymore. There's no intimidation. There's no fear factor. There's no nothing. People walk in the Yankees stadium and go, we're going to walk all over this team. There's no home field advantage. There's no advantage anywhere. There's no payroll advantage, nothing, because the Yankees don't know how to spend money. They have it, but they don't know how to spend it. They don't know how to draft. They don't know how to develop. They don't know how to scout. They don't know how to do shit. The best part of the New York Yankees organization is the grounds crew. Too bad they can't hit. I, I mean, I, I just, I'm at my wit's end. I mean, this, this is, you know, 30 years. Yeah, since they've been more than that, 31 years, I guess, 1992, since they've been this bad. And they are bad, pitiful, disgraceful. I said in a couple of videos before, take the pinstripes off and just give them blank white uniforms, man. This team does not deserve to wear that uniform. These are impersonators. 
These are not Yankees. There's no Yankee pride. There's no nothing there. They are defeated the moment they walk into the ballpark. You can read it all over their body language. It's terrible. It's terrible. And people saying, oh, maybe they quit. Man, guys, they didn't quit. They can't play. They're trying. That's what sucks. That's what's so bad is they're actually trying. And they just can't do it. It is really, really ugly in the Bronx at this point. And every time you think it can't get uglier, it does. So, you know, this season's a wash, but it is just so bad what this team has become. It, it, it is just, it's so far removed from what us Yankees, you know, granted, we're spoiled, man. We have been spoiled. The Yankees have been over 500, what, 30 years in a row or something. It's, it's insane that this could be the first time since 1992 that they finished under 500, and they will finish under 500. This team ain't going to get back to 500. There's just no way. They, they can't do it. Unless they bring up these prospects and then they just hit out of nowhere, uh, maybe. But their pitching stinks. Their bullpen stinks. They have nobody besides Aaron Judge that, that, that even gives you an inkling of fear. The fact that IKF is probably your second best player on this team. Isaiah kind of, he's a nice player. He's a good utility player. There's a lot of, like I said, you can't have a team of IKFs, but you need an IKF on your team. But he should not be batting fifth at any time, and he should not be the second best player on the fucking Yankees. And I'm going to end it at that. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your month or Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. It's a bad diggity dizzle, and I'm out. Peace.